We know yeah. it's just not gas that's high. Anyone who's been to the grocery store know that prices all over the place are up this year. KCRA 3's Maricela de la Cruz shows us what's causing the higher prices and how shoppers are reacting. Okay. As shoppers finish their last minute grocery shopping, and many are finding ways to save at the register. I just bought some meat and it's, it's off the hook. That's why you got to try and find it when it's on sale. And then I stack up, I'll buy $100, $200 worth of meat, put it in the freezer. We compared Thanksgiving ads from 2020 and 2021 in the Sacramento region. The prices are higher among several items, ranging from a couple of cents to a couple of bucks. 5.3% increase compared to last year in overall food prices. So if we look overall, it is somewhat moderate. But if we look at, say, meat prices, which are a pretty good chunk of consumer expenditure on groceries, then those are in the double digits. Despite the measures that some customers are taking. That's what you have to do is try and watch for sales. Other than that, it's I won't buy it because it's just like crazy. Wow. Um, and, I, and I make a, a pretty decent wage, so it's... I don't know how people do it. I really don't. We're meat eaters too, but we, we're just going to have to cut down. We don't need so much beef anyway. Price increases are affecting a range of products. Uh, we may also be seeing some higher prices on things like canned goods um, because metals prices have gone up so much over the last year. While retailers across the nation are all taking a hit. Our profit margin is a lot tighter this year. You know, we're probably not as making as high as percentage on products that we would in the past. You know, we are absorbing some of the costs because um, we understand that you know, dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. It really doesn't. Some of the smaller family-owned grocery stores are depending on loyal customers to keep them running. A lot of the price increases are kind of out of our hands, really. You know, it's just been handed down to us, and, you know, we really don't dictate what we pay for things, just like the customers don't dictate what they pay for things. The Economist also adds that if the high costs and the tightness in the labor market hold, we could eventually be seeing higher wages. In Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.